on Lyric Street Records. Remember Bucky Covington from uh, American Idol? That song was dropped off. My co-writer Liz Hingbird dropped that song off as a CD to Lyric Street. And um, anyway, they ended up cutting the song. Just so it goes to show you that uh, you know you think you, you just drop a CD off, you're just wasting your time or whatever, but uh, you never know. So, uh, is this my last song coming up here? Have I done four or three? Are, who's counting? Uh, two. One, two. <laughs> nine more, nine more. Uh, I think that was four. Let's see, I did peer pressure, I did four straight. Did, uh, He's old. Yeah, yeah. Old and forgetful. Yeah, this is my last song. You guys are a wonderful audience. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but you guys are awesome. I love the couches. I mean, it's, you all look so comfortable, man. Maybe they can show a football game up here when we're done or something. You know? But I'll stick around and drink some beer, you know? Uh, speaking of drinking beer, this song is a perfect song to drink beer to. Um, I was on the road with Craig Morgan. Actually, I was on the road with Sheree Austin years ago, and she was on the same, same label as Craig, and we went out and did this East Coast and West Coast, Coast tour on a bus. And uh, one morning we were up uh, very early doing a radio tour. Well, if you've ever been on a tour bus before, uh, you don't take anything that you don't want consumed by everybody else. <laughs> you know, if, you, if you do, you know, like, if you bring like a 12 pack of beer or something, just leave it out there on the kitchen table, it's gonna be gone. You're gonna, what happened to my beer? Or, or a cake, whatever it is, you know, a sandwich. Somebody ate your sandwich, okay? Well, I used to, I used to bring uh, a little bit of vodka on board, and I, because I like to have a drink after we're done, after the whole day, you know, and I would disguise it. I'd put it in a water bottle. Yeah. Genius, right? So anyway, I stashed it, put it in my bunk. Okay, so we're up early one morning on this radio tour. Everybody's the coffee's brewing, you know, and we're, everybody's putting on their shoes and socks and buttoning their shirts and going, ah, oh, this sucks. We gotta get up at 5:30 in the morning, go to a radio station. All of a sudden, Craig Morgan takes a drink of his coffee and he goes, oh my goodness, he goes, what's in that? He goes, who made this coffee? <laughs> the bus driver, you know where the story's going, right? <laughs> the bus driver Dewey says, I, I did, I made it. He says, my gosh, what'd you put in? What did you put in? He goes, you know those half full water bottles people leave laying around the bus? He goes, that gets me so mad. He goes, I just take them, I put them in the coffee pot. <laughs> I said, Dewey, did you go in my bunk? And he said, yeah, you had one too. I said, oh no. And I said, that was vodka. And so Craig says, great, we're drinking Kafka this morning. <laughs> but Craig heard this song and uh, took a liking to it. And every time I'd see him around town, before he cut the song, I was hoping and praying that he'd cut this song. He'd come up to me and he'd put his arm around me and get right in my face and go, Redneck Yacht Club. And I go, well, that's a good sign. I think he likes the song. True story. I meet my buddies out on the lake. We're headed out to a special place we love. But just a few folks know. There's no signing up, no monthly dues. Take your Johnson, your Mercury, all your Evan Rude, and fire it up. Meet us out of party cold. And come on in, the water's fine. Just dial on over. Toss us a line. Fast trackers, bay riders, in a party park. Shut together like a float, trailer park. Anchored out, getting loud on summer. Chairs and tiki torches, regular Joes rocking the boat. That's us, the Redneck Yacht Club. Woo! Okay, so we wrote this song and we turned it in, and one of our publishers said, Ooh, that's gross. They said, That second verse is gross. You're gonna have to change it because nobody's ever gonna cut it like that. Lisa Ramsey. 
Turns out she was right, but you know what? We were, we were mad. We were mad because we said, we like our second verse just the way it is, you know? But really, we were more, to be honest with you, we were more scared than anything. Because the next day we were going to demo the song, we had no earthly idea what we were going to change the lyric to. But we put our heads together and called each other on the phone and said, we came up with the verse that you hear on the radio now. But would you like to hear the original second yeah! verse? Bermuda's flip flops and a, oh, I'm sorry. Bermuda's black socks and a tank top tan. He popped his first top at 10 a.m. That's Bob with the hairy back. <laughs> He's checking out the girls on the upper deck, rubbing in the 15 SP. If it's hot, Bob's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> and later on, when the sun goes down, we'll pull out the jar and that old guitar and we'll pass it around. Mass trackers, baby. In a party barge, strung together like a floating trailer park, anchored out, getting loud all summer long. Side by side, there's five houseboat front porches, as the turf lawn chairs and tiki torches, regular Joes rocking the boat. That's us, the Redneck Yacht Club. Yeah, when the party's over and we're all alone. We'll be making waves in a no-wake zone. Fast trackers, paint liners, and a party barge. Strung together like a floating trailer park. Anchored out, getting loud all summer long. Side by side, there's five houseboat front porches. Ask the turf on, chairs and tiki torches. Regular Joes rocking the boat. That's us. Thanks for listening, folks. I've had a great time. Now when I say redneck, you say yacht club. Redneck, yacht club, redneck, yacht club. Thank you so much.